coming to you today to talk a little bit about the basis of feather destruction. I've given a little bit of a hint about what I believe is the basis of feather destruction in many of my posts that I've written for you. I'm not going to make this video very long. I just want to come to you face to face and discuss briefly what I'm working on in my research, what I'm working on in the diet that I'm preparing for all of you to use on your birds for feather destruction. After 11 long, exhausting years of working on feather destruction, I finally come to realize what the root is of all of this insidious feather destruction that our birds go through, what I call the mutilation syndrome. For many, many years, I've always believed that nutrition was the basis of feather destruction, and now I'm absolutely convinced. We have taken these birds out of the wild, and when we first started keeping these parrots in our house, many of the parrots were captured from the wild, and we didn't see a lot of feather destruction at the beginning of keeping parrots in our house. As the years continued, we began to see feather destruction, and then we began to see it more and more and more. And we scratched our heads. We didn't understand why we were seeing it on an increased basis. As I began working with the birds with feather destruction, I began to see one nutritional deficiency after another. And first I thought, oh, it was lack of vitamin C, even though the researcher said, well, birds produce their own vitamin C, so it can't be a lack of vitamin C. Then I thought it was a lack of this vitamin and that vitamin and this mineral and that mineral. Come to understand all of this, when birds are pulled out of the wild, they were raised by their parents in the nest, which means that they were being fed by their parents right out of their own parents' crop, which means that they had their parents' gut flora introduced into their gut, much like our human babies that are fed breast milk. So when they came to us from the wild, they already had good gut flora, healthy gut flora, growing in their digestive tract. But then we started feeding them highly processed commercial bird food. Now understanding how highly processed commercial bird food is produced under high heat and the extrusion process, all of the natural digestive enzymes are literally destroyed. Which means that the bird has to go on surviving with the good gut flora that has already been introduced into its gut. One problem with this, bad bacteria easily overcomes any good gut flora. So eventually, over time, the good gut flora is destroyed, and the only thing that remains is the bad bacteria. So this is why we began to see more and more birds pluck their feathers, because without good gut flora, the immune system begins to deteriorate. So the feather destruction is a symptom of bad gut flora. It's not the actual syndrome. It is a symptom of the syndrome. Not only is feather destruction a symptom, but diabetes, fatty liver disorder, cardiovascular disease, 
on and on and on. All of these illnesses that our birds are suffering is the direct result of bad gut flora, in my opinion. But since this video is about feather destruction, let's stick to that. So let's add insult to injury. And now we're not so much taking the birds directly out of the wild, but we decide to start breeding them so that we have more birds in our homes or available for our homes, for our pleasure and our enjoyment. So we're breeding these birds so that we have more parrots in the homes. By the way, they are the third largest sect of pets in the homes. Third only to dogs and cats. And now we have these bred birds that are being hand raised, mind you, because we believe if we hand raise these birds, they'll be friendlier for us as pets. Now what does hand raising mean or hand rearing? It means that they are not receiving any of the parents' gut flora at all. So we're raising birds that are virtually void of good gut bacteria from their parents. Now take that and feed them highly processed baby formula that's processed the same way as highly processed bird food void of any natural digestive enzymes because it's processed with high heat and extruded. They have no good digestive enzymes in their crops or their digestive tract at all. Zero, zip, zilch, none. So now they're starting to destroy their feathers at an even earlier age. Go ahead, go into the bird stores and look at the birds that they have for sale now. It used to be that we could go into the bird stores and we would see beautifully feathered baby birds. Now we're seeing baby birds that are virtually destroying their feathers before they even leave the, the bird store. And this is really, really sad. So further down the line, now we're seeing birds get ill at an even younger age. Uh, we're seeing fatty liver disease, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, pancreatitis, what have you, at even earlier ages. Why? Because of their lack of healthy gut flora. And the veterinarians are scratching their heads. We're scratching our heads. We don't understand why they're getting ill at an even earlier age. Prolapse, PDD, you name it. Again, this goes back to the lack of healthy gut flora. So what do we do? We pump them full of antibiotics. What do the antibiotics do? If they have any healthy gut flora whatsoever, the antibiotics totally wipe it out. So, like I said, we're adding more insult to the injury. Their immune system has been totally, completely destroyed. Now, with a totally and completely destroyed immune system, what happens? The healthy foods that we think that we're feeding them, and they should be healthy, they should be adding nutrition, all of a sudden become food sensitivities. They can't even handle the nutrients that are in the food. Their body doesn't know how to digest and absorb the nutrients. Their body, the mast cells in their body, sees them as invaders into their system. They see them as uh, an allergy. And so they start to resist them and fight them off because the bad bacteria says, oh no, we can't have these in our body. These are bad things to have. 
so the bad bacteria tries to fight them off. There is no good bacteria in their body to welcome them in. As a result, they develop these extreme food sensitivities and um, it comes out in the symptom of itching and scratching and picking and plucking and even as far as self-mutilation. What do we do? What we have to do is go take the, the birds through a complete and total detox so that we can get the bad bacteria out of their system or at least as low as possible in their system and begin replenishing their system with good gut flora. This is an extremely slow process. This cannot happen overnight. If you were to try to do it overnight, you would kill your bird. Literally, you would, because it would be such a shock to the system. So you have to begin detoxing at a very slow rate. Uh, the cleansing can start fairly quickly, uh, and you will see immediate relief in your bird. But then as you're going through the detox process, um, you're actually going to see your bird take steps backwards. Because the toxins in the body has to go somewhere, and it's not going to come out only through the feces, uh, through the droppings. It's going to come out through the largest organ of the body, and that's the skin. So you will see more and more picking and plucking for a long period of time before you will actually see improvement via growing feathers back. You're going to have to learn to see improvement in a different way. You will have to train your brain to understand that improvement is actually picking and plucking because the toxins are coming out through the organs through the main organ, which is the skin. Uh, so that is improvement per se because the toxins are coming out. And then later down the line, much later, maybe 9, 12, 14 months, you'll begin to see feather regrowth that actually stays. In the meantime, you'll see feather regrowth, picking, plucking, feather regrowth, picking, plucking, feather regrowth, picking, plucking, and then 9, 12, 14 months, you'll actually begin to see feather regrowth that stays. But all of the bad bacteria has to be detoxed out of the body while new good gut flora is growing back into the, to the digestive system, but at a very, very, very slow basis so that you don't kill your bird because this is a whole new, uh, a, no, a whole new chemical homeostasis growing inside of your bird's digestive tract. So this is what I'm working on. This is why it's taking so long to introduce the diet to the avian community. This is why so much testing is going on. I have a secret group that I'm working with and albeit they are kind of frustrated too because they're not seeing the progress that they want to see. Uh, all of my sanctuary birds, with the exception of one, is on this diet. Uh, Caesar, that you see in the background, is on this diet. Uh, as you can see, he's not fully feathered, but we're working on it. Um, but this is what we're working on. This is what I hope to bring to you. Um, the first phase, which is the elimination phase, uh, I hope to have out by mid-2014 after laboratory testing. Will it be perfectly ba balanced according to industry standards? No, it will not be. It's not supposed to be because it's an elimination diet. Uh, there are steps that you will have to take with your bird before you even place it on the elimination diet, which is the pre-elimination. Uh, I'm writing the program now. It will be a very detailed program. It's not for the faint of heart. If you're not willing to work through this patiently, don't even start. Because this is a program that will take a minimum of 12 to 14 months, 
and that's being very hopeful and positive. I'm thinking that for each bird that has been engaging in feather destruction, it's going to take a minimum of two years to go through the entire program. Um, if your bird has been engaging in feather destruction for five years, it's probably going to take five years to go, to go through the entire program and see any positive results. That's just being realistic. Uh, if your bird's been engaging in feather destruction for three years, it's probably going to take three years. If your bird has been a feather destroyer for 10 years, look at 10 years. I'm just being realistic. I want you to be prepared. So anyway, that's the basis of feather destruction as I see it. After 11 years of long and exhausting research. So I hope that opens the door to um, your understanding of what I'm working on and how I'm working on it and why I'm working on it. I am very passionate about this. This is my life's work. This is my life's passion. And I want to share it with you and I'm eager to share it with you. And let's go forward with positive attitude. Okay? All right. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.